Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss deep and well diode extraction and how the tool is identifying the parasitic diode extraction and how to clear the LVS results by using the caliber window. Let's start the video. This video lecture is a continuation of my part one video. If you miss that video, just watch part one, then you can watch part two so that you will get a better understanding of this video lecture. In the previous video lecture we have discussed how to add the deep well guard ring manually so now we are trying to do a parasitic extraction and the LVS check and how your tools are actually you know trying to extract the diode formation of this uh, deep well guard ring um, so here I have a, my LVS window uh, I'll just give a LVS check here if I gave a normal LVS check without changing anything your tool will not identify the parasitic extractions of the deep and well diode because the tool by default the tool will consider there is a guard ring of p well and there is a guard ring of n well and there is a deep and well layer all these layers only it's a masking layer so the lvs window unable to extract or it won't extract the exact parasitic diode formation here so we have to do something for that in our um, uh, caliber uh, uh, no like rule deck file okay so in this uh, caliber rv window we are not seeing anything here see the only the tool is highlighting that there is an incorrect port because i have not added the ports here only source gate and drain i have connected i just assigned the pin of a and b but i have not connected any vss substrate it's just a missing port yeah your tool is unable to find out or the tool is unable to extract the deep and well uh, guard ring or the tool is unable to extract actually because what we are using it's a normal uh, you know, rule deck file so we have to do something in the caliber rule deck file to extract the parasitic extractions of this diode so what we have to do you have to open your caliber lvs document so this is your caliber lvs document of 22 nanometer technology so in this lvs document you need to find out these two lines actually here see here there is a extract deep and well diode now it is turned off and there is a extract p n well diode that is also turned off so deep and well diode parasitic extraction now it is turned off and another p substrate to n well diode is also turned off so what you have to do here first you need to find out this document um maybe if you have access to find this document you can try this lvs uh, caliber document and make it as a local copy in your home directory and you do all the changes here do not try to edit the original uh, 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 no like lvs file so now what we need to do here we need to find out these two lines in your caliber window uh, in your sorry in your caliber uh, rule deck file so we have to edit the line we need to just remove the backslash here we have two different backslash here so these two black slash we need to remove and we have to save the file here okay just you save the file and minimize the file here then again i am going to the caliber window i am going to run my caliber again so what exactly happening here in the previous case we have disabled the parasitic extractions of this diode okay so it it, it has to be enabled actually but we have disabled that so now i edited that caliber lvs file so I'm now I'm instructing the tool wherever there is a guard ring, wherever there is a ring or maybe a deep and well ring or P well ring or let it be any ring. Try to extract or try to consider that as a parasitic formations of the diode and try to extract those diodes. Okay, so that's what I have made the changes in the caliber window. Okay, that's a caliber rule deck file actually. So now let's see what uh, changes we are getting in the LVS window. See now there is a parasitic extraction results we got it but we have a new errors here if you open the discrepancies here see default what we have all those things are remain same but additionally we have something called incorrect instance here 
so if we edit this file caliber window to instructing the tool to extract the parasitic extractions of the deep n well diode and the deep n well uh, n well to p substrate diode okay this if you need if, if you enable this option then now the tool will identify that there is a diode formation in your layout which is not available in the schematic because in the layout there is a diode okay that is a deep n well diode but in the schematic we don't have such a diode yeah because in the schematic we have not added any diode okay so the schematic is empty okay there is no parasitic diode here okay let's see how to add this schematic how to add this diode in the schematic okay first of all you just need to select this d0 okay select this d0 then here in the bottom area the tool will show which net is connected to the diode okay so exactly here there is a diode formation see this d0 d1 d2 automatically the tool will find out the name okay now there is a diode formation but the diode one terminal a cathode is connected to net one and the anode is connected to net three but actually this is the wrong because diode always has to be connected in the reverse bias condition in this condition your cathode need to be connected to one potential and your anode need to be connected to the another potential okay because the diode acting as a reverse bias here but here since we have not connected any potential here so the tool is automatically you know considering that there is a floating guard ring the guard ring is not connected to any of the potential so now the tool is automatically taking the numbers here one and three okay meanwhile if you select another d d1 diode d1 diode is also see it is not connected to anywhere so the tool is automatically considering there is a diode formation but this diode is not connected anywhere so now what we need to do here first we have to do something in the layout and as well as schematic to resolve this error actually okay this is very uh, easy work but it's it's little uh, difficult to understand so first of all we need to assign a port name uh, for these two different uh, substrate connection one is vss rf and another one is vss substrate so what i am going to do first i am going to add the pin name for this two different net so the reason why i didn't add the pin name here to show the error report based on the error report easily we can understand okay how the tool is you know trying to extract the parasitic extractions of the deep well diode and how the tool is reacting uh, if in case if the pin name is added in the layout okay so to just make to understand that i didn't add any pin in the guard ring so now i'm going to add pin name for these two different guard ring okay which guard ring our p substrate guard ring okay not for our deep and well guard ring deep and well guard ring still it is floating we are not going to assign any potential but we have a device of n well this n well it is connected to p substrate guard ring this p substrate guard ring is connected to vss substrate right so now i'm going to add the pin name to the vss substrate I'm going to make a manual pin placement here. Okay, the terminal name is VSS SUB. Then I'm going to create a, a label is also like manual. Okay, so everything is manual 0 0.01, yeah, same as a pin. I'm going to select my M1 pin. I'm going and trying to add a pin name here, VSS substrate with the M1 pin. So now I added my VSS sub pin here. Okay, then now my potential is connected to VSS substrate. Parallelly, I am going to do the VSS RF substrate connection in the opposite side. Same thing, we need to go to the pin option. Okay, so these things can be automatically you can do, but in order to understand this in a clear way, I am doing everything manually. Okay, so VSS RF. Okay, so now VSS RF pin name also I have assigned. Still, I am going to assign it as a M1 pin. Okay, so now I am going to assign my VSS RF pin here. Yeah, now VSS RF pin is also assigned here right so now i'll save the layout again i'll give the drc sorry again i'll give the lvs run let me see how our tool is reacting in this case yeah now we got the lvs report so now if i select the thing and now see the port names are all clear we have assigned all the ports here again if i select the discrepancies in the deep and well there is an incorrect instance let it be incorrect net because this incorrect net is uh, you know uh, we'll discuss later. Okay. What is this incorrect net? We'll discuss later. First, we'll go to the incorrect instance here. Okay. So first we'll find out what the, what, what is the difference from the previous, uh, error report to the current error report. Okay. Now I'm selecting this D0. See now the D0 diode is forming between 
vss p substrate to another potential see here in our previous case what exactly happened in our previous case there is a diode formation of d0 and d1 but the names of the potential sorry the name of the net is a random number uh, previously it is connecting to net1 and net3 and net and net 2 and net 3 some random number the tool has automatically taken but now since if i add the port name and the pin name in the particular guard ring now see there is a two different diode okay d0 and d1 which is anode is connected to vss rf one potential of anode is connected to vss rf and another potential of anode is connected to vss substrate since the cathode is floating because it's a anti potential okay so cathode is nothing but Cathode is nothing but our N well guard ring. Okay, so anode is our P substrate guard ring. So now the P substrate guard ring is connected to the VSS substrate. Okay, so now still our cathode potential is floating. Okay, the previous case and the present state, you can clearly understand what is the difference, how the tool is extracting the LVS report. Okay, so now the pin addition, the uh, adding the pin is making these changes here. So what is missing here, the one is the deep N well guard ring is still floating. So what we have to do, we need to assign another different uh, pin name for this deep and well guard ring because our piece of state guard ring now it is connected to one potential of the diode that is nothing but our anode. Okay, our anode is connected to VSS substrate here in this devices. Whereas in the another device, the anode is connected to VSS RF, but still our cathode is floating. In general, a deep and well guard ring always it has to be connected to the VDD potential okay let it be any type of vdd like vdd1 vdd2 vdd3 if they have any dedicated vdd for the deep and well you can assign it okay but always the deep and well potential has to be connected to a power vdd okay so now what i am going to do i am going to just draw a metal one layer here okay so anyway don't follow my layout uh, connection okay just to show or just to clear the lvs i am following these kind of connections but don't try to follow the same kind of connections connecting method here okay do it in a proper way okay now what i am going to do i am going to assign a pin name called vdd here okay so vdd pin i am going to add this pin here okay again i am going to select the m1 pin here okay i am going to add this pin vdd here okay see the again the pin vdd i am adding just to understand and just to clear the lvs okay so if you are adding any potential here discuss with your designer and try to find out what potential or what pin name they are planning to connect it to the deep and well uh, deep and well layer okay now i am taking my own decision here okay now see i added a vdd potential to the deep and well guard ring so now my internal guard ring is connected one now one of the device internal guard ring is connected to v substrate another device is connected to vss rf and the both deep and well guard ring is connected to vdd okay now again i am going to check uh, lvs report what the difference is there so now we got the updated lvs error report here again i am going to check the comparison result see here again we are ending up with a different error Additionally, one pin is present here, which is available in the source, sorry, which is available in the layout, but it is not available in the schematic. Okay, so that is okay. We'll try to add those pins in the schematic. Of course, we have to do that. Again, if you select this incorrect instance, because we don't want to worry about this incorrect port and incorrect net at this point of time. Okay, so just in this discrepancy, see another diode, the same diode D0. If you select this diode, see now the clear report is states that one terminal of the diode is connected to vdd another potential of the diode is connected to vss substrate so this is how the tool is trying to extract the parasitic diode formation which is present in your layout then if you assign the particular pin name to this dedicated uh, you know guard ring then the tool will try to take the pin name of the particular guard ring and it will try to connect the pin name in the parasitic extraction diode so we can clearly understand what error report we got it in the first uh, lvs check and then the second lvs check it's a different error report and the final lvs check it's a different error report now one terminal of the diode is connected to vss substrate another terminal of the diode is connected to vdd same way there is a d1 diode one potential of the diode that is nothing but our anode is connected to vss rf and the cathode is connected to vdd now that both the diodes are 
connected in the reverse bias condition in this case because yeah the cathode is connected to vtd anode is connected to vss so both are reverse bias diode right so now again the same d0 is also connected to reverse bias okay now in our layout side we have done everything okay but still there is a problem this errors are not updated in the schematic because from the layout side everything is clean but those details are not available in the schematic so what we need to do we need to update the corresponding deep and well diode informations in the schematic so that we can clear this lvs reports and lvs errors actually so in our next video i will tell you how to add these extracted deep and well diodes in the schematic and how to try to clear this lvs so we'll we'll discuss all those things in our next part i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends for more details about this video please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button